Hamilton who have just completed matches to a fantastic reception from the crowd. Uh, the fifth match of the day is mixed doubles. Tan Kian Meng and Lai Pei Jing of Malaysia are in action against Supak Jomko and Supisara Piusampran of Thailand. So we're going to have more of that superb crowd interaction. Here's how Group B looks at the moment with, of course, Pavel Ranakro and Dara Tanachai leading proceedings at the moment. They've won two out of two, uh, but it means that Tan Kian Meng and Lai Pei Jing still have a chance of going through after that superb win over Wang Yiliu and Huang Dongping, which was a massive surprise. For two, mixed doubles, Group B. Tan Kian Ming and Lai Peijing from Malaysia. Now they're coming through, this pair here. Tan Kian Ming and Lai Peijing. They uh, won the gold medal at the Commonwealth Games recently, the mixed team event. And uh, got a bronze in the mixed doubles together. Southeast Asian Games 2019 and got a silver in the men's team event. Uh, this is Tan Kian Ming and he got a bronze in the mixed doubles. Lai Pei Jing is a Commonwealth champion both in 2014 and this year, as I mentioned, mixed team event. And that bronze as well, as I told you earlier in the Versus Southeast Asian Games, a Supak silver in 2015 in the women's team event, from Thailand. bronze in 2011, and three bronzes in mixed doubles, women's team and mixed doubles again, 2013 and 2019. Supak Jomko and Supisara Pusampran coming over now. Supak Jomko has won a bronze in the World Junior Championships in the mixed team events. Supisara Jomko was part of the Thai team that won a bronze in 2020 in the Uber Cup. So in the head-to-head, Jomko and Kusopran actually leading this 2-1. They met at the All-England most recently. They won that So Tan Kian Meng, 28 years of age, from the south of Malaysia and Johor, 185 centimetres tall. He's apparently playing at eighth, his highest is seventh with his current partner. That was in you know, just a few weeks ago. I play James 30th from Kuantan, the state of Kuantan. Rather than Kuantan. And, uh, their path so far, they were thrashed really by Pavaranakar and Taratanachai, but they had a fantastic win over the Olympic champions. That really made some headlines. Super Jomko is 26, 180 centimeters tall, 12th in the world. That's his best ranking, and uh, well, they haven't won too much on the circuit with his partner, 23 year old. This is their best ever ranking. They've not won anything on the HSBC BWF World Tour. They lost, perhaps unsurprisingly, to these two very impressive pairs. For, and, um, for them, Great 
And Benjamin Kuo from Chinese Taipei. Yeah, so they're eliminated effectively. Jomko and Piu Sampran. But this is certainly very much alive for Tan Kenmeng and Lai Pei Jing. If they win this, they are through because of the fact they've beaten Wang Yi Liu and Wang Dongping, who are playing right next door in a massive match. So I'll just correct myself because if actually if Wang and Wang win that one against Wa Veronica and Taratana Chan, we'll have three teams on two points each. And they will all have beaten each other. Ladies and gentlemen, so yeah, this is very much still alive. On my right, Shukak Jokko and Isara Maishan. One is definitely for sure. Tanya and Megan Lai Pei have to win this to give themselves any chance. The Malaysian pair have uh, only won one event themselves. That's a Korea Open earlier this year. And they've been runners up before in 2019 at the Singapore Open. So neither one of these pairs has really set the badminton world alight, but an opportunity here to get into the semi-finals for the Malaysians. Jonko absolutely smashed that shuttle earlier. A lot of power in that. It was well returned. Two sets of Thai players on either court. And that's going to get the crowd very excited. Dead robbers for one of the players or pairs can often be a little bit misleading. They still want to go out with a bang, they want to get a win under their belt. No one wants to leave with three losses. If they can help it. From Tan Kian Meng comes down at pretty big height, doesn't he? 185. It's fascinating to see what happens now in the four the Malaysians win here and the Chinese win next to us in court one. Mm. 
Legends want to try and win in two, obviously, give themselves any kind of advantage. That's their job. Long. Oh. Oh, this one was a little bit of slice on that from Tan. Challenge already. It's from uh, Tan and Lai. And that is uh, as far as out as you'll ever see. Which also does make the challenge as to why. A decent lead early from Tan and Lai. Even the points, who knows, may come into it. Really well here, the tyres to draw level. And one for Sarah's as well from the Malaysians has helped. Off of that live Beijing. Missed it. What a chance there. Tan Kian Meng. Nine, ten. And then, it's 
seemed easier for him to get it over. That would be frustrating. He had them at his mercy almost. But they do go into the interval with that two point lead. 11 9, Tan and Light. So, moving up to four points now, Tan and Light. Looking quite, looking quite good there. spurts here, more points, time and light. Oh, that is uh, straight to do some plan. Which uh, Tan quickly acknowledges. won a title at the World Tour Finals, so they've got a lot of representatives here, one of the highest. This represents an opportunity for them. Thailand have won the mixed doubles twice, that's through Wav Ranakro and Tara Tanachai. Still have that little cushion of theirs. Jokon Pusampurana trying to 
Well, things a little tricky for them. Nicely done. Right. Okay, Jake. Looking at those, uh, looking at the overall record, they played 247 matches together, the Malaysians. 144 wins, 103 losses. This year they played 43 matches, 28 wins, 15 defeats. Slightly better than their overall record, so it's been a decent year in that sense. Just getting in each other's way. Jomko and Pusampran still. We about 102 matches played together. 63 wins, 39 defeats. 60% record, not bad. This year, coming to this tournament, 30 matches played, 18 wins, 12 defeats. So again, about 60%. But they came in as the lowest ranked side in here up against the fifth ranked. Duncan Ming and Lao Pei Jing. They just uh, now put themselves in a pretty decent position here, Tan and Lai. Yu <laughs> Zhu next to Teratana Chao Hen Kwok Ranakro. Points now for Tan and Lai. Challenge on this one. Time and by hoping that they'll get away and then they can wrap this up. It is out. So we'll to continue here. Still three points to save for Jomko and Pusan Pran. But they've got it to the back of the court. Tan and Lai take this first game. Well, their mission is to try and win this in straights if they can. 
halfway there. Puts the pressure on the other match. That's exactly what they're doing right now. So a reminder again that Tan and Lai, their aim is to try and win this in straight games, to give themselves every chance of getting through, because it might come down to that. If Wang Yiliu and Huang Dongping next door to them on court one beat Paul Veronica and Tan and Chai, then there'll be three pairs on two points each. And because they've all beaten each other, it then will come down to games won. If that's still tied, then it'll come down to points won. The problem for Tan and Lai is that they've got the worst game difference, as it were. They've won two games, lost three overall so far. So if they win by two today, then their game difference is up to plus one. Oh, Serve is too high. Yeah, so they'll be up to plus one. They'll be hoping, of course, that Bob Ranico and Terra Tanshai do them a favor and beat Wang Yiliu and Huang Dongping. That makes things uh, much easier as a straightforward. Again, call too high. That's one each now. Mind you, they have already beaten Wang Yili and Hong Dong Ping, so since they're head-to-head, -head, they've also got that advantage. Oh. 
Too much on that for Pio Sampran. from the Malaysian fans. So far, as I said, Malaysia. Having a look at uh, what the Malaysians are doing and So far in the men's doubles, they've given themselves a real chance. And this is a two E. Still having to wait for the result in the other match. Between Takuro Hoku, Yuko Kobayashi, and Choi Sol Gyu and Kim Won Ho. So far, it's the only Malaysian pair that's through. And this is the other pair that has a very good opportunity. They are trailing here by two. Super Jonko coming down, terrific power and pace. Have to go and get a new racket. And unfortunately for him, they took advantage of that situation. Which does happen from time to time, of course. Go and uh, get a new racket in, <laughs> run back onto the court. Tan Kan Meng knew exactly what to do. That can happen. So by winning here, in two strokes, they put themselves up at plus one. It just gives them a much better shot. Snatching of that light, and getting it over. So at the interval, it's the ties just in front here, Jomko and Pusampran. 11-8 in this second game, having already lost that first one.
Just two points in it now between Tan Lai and John Kopi Samprat. We got a touch on that, didn't it? Lai. Yeah, there again, up for it. perhaps just starting to turn again. <laughs> just snatching at it. We're still in this though. We're still in the lead. By one. A real exchange of passes there. just won the first game against Wang Yilu and Wang Dongping. That is actually fairly good news for Tan and Lai, even though they are currently losing the second game. Excuse me, they're just drawing now. They've uh, just got that point here. And that's good news. Just 
smashing it now into these shots. Jump cut. And that's playing into Tan and Lai's hands. put away by Tan. Yeah. Just four points away from securing the straight sets, the straight games win that they wanted. Second time that's happened in a couple of minutes. Poised here, this one. Again, rushing into that shot. Well out. <laughs> I think that's a one of the most, if not the most hopeful challenge I've seen thus far. I think we saw one earlier, didn't we, in this particular game? Maybe slightly unsighted for uh, Pusampran, but I just can't believe how that could be in. We'll see. Yeah, it is. <laughs> About as out as the other one. Maybe a one final one desperate attempt. They're not giving up without a fight. Oh, Tan doesn't get it over. All. They're gonna hold their nerve. <laughs> Everyone challenged that one because they weren't sure what the call was originally, but I think it's Tan and La, yeah, they're the ones challenging it. It's been called in. They felt it was out, I think. Oh, tight one, really tight. I think John Corpius might have that right. 
It is in. It is indeed in. And they now have game point. Well, that is going to put a little spanner in the works, perhaps, for Tan and Lai, unless it can save this point. Oh, has that gone in? Yes, it's in, I think. Or not. No. Oh, that was tight. 20 all over for a second there. Just. It was hard in the mouse time for everyone. <laughs> it is out. And we are now going to need a winner by two clear points. It's a lifeline for Tan and Lai. And they've now given themselves match point. Can they finish this off? And they have done it. The Malaysians were made to work very, very hard here in that second game in particular. But they've come through, smiles all around for Pusan Pran and Jomko, who played their part in this, an entertaining match. But they leave the tournament without a win to their name, unfortunately. But they certainly have had some bright moments in this one. The town and life given themselves every opportunity of getting through. They now just Gonna have to wait and see what happens in the match next door here on court one. Between Kwa Wanaku and Taratanachai and Wang and Huang with the ties at the moment in front. But for now, Tan Kian Meng and Lai Peijing of Malaysia have defeated the Thai pair of Supak Jomko and Supisara Piusampran. 21-17, 22-20. They've done it in 40 minutes. Next up, it's uh, men's doubles. Japan versus Korea, always tasty. And talking of which, we've got Bobby Griffin coming up next.
Thank you to Shazad Hack for dissecting the badminton so far on court two here today. We're live at the Namibut Arena Bangkok for continued day three action from the 2022 World Tour Finals. Well, there's one late change to today's match schedule as Malaysia's go and lie in the mixed doubles group. A have withdrawn for medical reasons. That would have been match number seven. Meaning the number one C, Zheng and Huang, top the group, guaranteeing a semi-finals berth. And right now we've got four more matches to come, including more men's doubles from Group A.